everybody, this is Elena. This is Anna. Welcome back to Salty Pudding, guys. Today is one of those days when we really wish you could come over, you know, enjoy an uproar spritz, have some Italian appetizers together, but since that's not possible yet, we are gonna offer you some ideas of how you can treat those friends that are coming over, not for dinner, not for lunch, and we are gonna make tomato bruschettes and puff pastry appetizers. And while Elena takes care of the food as per usual, <laughs> The day has come for me to be actually needed because when it comes to alcohol, <laughs> I am your girl. <laughs> so I'm gonna make an Aperol spritz and I'm gonna introduce an Ugo spritz because I'm not a fan of Aperol. I am. <laughs> we are gonna start with the puff pastry appetizer. Meantime, make sure you are preheating your oven at 180 degrees. And for this, you are gonna need, of course, the puff pastry, seeds, any mix of seeds, one egg, and any grated cheese, as long as it has a strong taste. So let's get into it. The first step is to cut the pastry with a knife into tiny rectangles. That's done. Next thing, whisk the egg with a fork. With a brush, spread the egg on the puff, puff pastry. Now, you just sprinkle the seeds your hand sprinkle the cheese. Make sure you put some on the edges as well. This is it guys! How long was it? Two minutes? You just put it in the oven for 20 minutes maximum. While the puff pastry is still in the oven, we can now start preparing the sauce for our bruschette. I am using just two slices of bread because I'm making them just for me and for Anna. In your case, guys, it depends on how many friends you have over, you choose the amount of bread. Then we need cherry tomatoes, garlic, the more the better, a mix of herbs and salt, and in the end, we are gonna season it with some uh, olive oil. So, let's get into it, we need to chop the uh, cherry tomatoes in tiny, tiny, tiny pieces. Once you chopped the tomatoes and the garlic, you just pour them in the same bowl. You add the, the herbs. Salt is on the mat. And a dash of olive oil. And that's a dash for you? That's a dash for me. That's a dash for Gordon Ramsay. <laughs> and just mix. And this is it. You don't need to add anything else. You will now just put the bread in the oven till it, become, uh, it becomes crispy. The puff pastry should be done now. Let's check it. Mm. This is how it looks, guys. I personally love it, love the taste. In this case, I love the smell. You will see that the cheese now uh, melted and um, there's not a clear cut anymore. You just can use a pizza cutter. This is how it looks like. Anna. <laughs> last, last thing to do is to cut the bread into four pieces, four tiny squares. 
place it in the oven five minutes is gonna be enough so the time has come for me to take over finally and to take care of the most important bit of the video according to myself we're gonna use prosecco soda and ice for both of them and we're gonna start with the apro so let's open that prosecco yay i'm not very good at the amounts but you know just go with the flow likes it strong so hopefully it's strong enough we'll put a slice of orange inside oh don't forget the eyes it's almost melting ooh, ooh, it's okay i know you want to say something just keep it to yourself for now and a little decoration La -la! <laughs> and obviously one of these beautiful straws that we can use and reuse now this one this is my favorite so prosecco and we're gonna use elderflower press it should be syrup but we didn't find it but this will do for now it's sweet it's yummy it's my favorite i like sweet alcohol i know some people will be disgusted but you know you can choose the amount so let's go with the ice actually the ice should have gone at the end if you have some fresh meat um, in the house, then that will, yeah, you know, refresh your drink. I'll just put some fresh what? Fresh meat. Oh, well, fresh meat. <laughs> refresh your grits. Okay. Sorry. <laughs> what is this, Elena? I'm gonna put it inside. <laughs> Ta da! It was for decorating the edge. Oh, but it's yummy inside. Uh, in this as well, obviously, you can add some soda if you like. I will put the soda outside <laughs> and enjoy some more Prosecco. <laughs> Make it even. There you go. And the spritzes are ready. It's 4 p.m. guys, so as I said, it's not lunch, not dinner. It's perfect. In Italy, it would be called Apericena. The bruschette are ready as well. Let's get them out. Can you give me a plate, Anna? Of course I can. Please. Any plate? Any plate. Obviously, you can have some other snacks. We have some potato. potatoes. <laughs> some. <laughs> yes, Cheese. potatoes, chips. Um, or nuts, or you know, olives, whatever your heart desires, whatever your stomach desires. Oh, she let me do this, it's actually fun. Are you not chill with me? Oh my gosh, she's already into it. Half of it. <laughs> Cheers. It's actually Italian, I can feel it. I don't know about this, but this is Italian. That was everything for today, guys. Thank you so, so, so much for being with us once again. Don't forget to like and to subscribe and, you know, share some positive appetizing appetizers. <laughs> the heck did I just say? Don't worry, just subscribe. Bye!
everybody know. this. Hi everybody. <laughs> <laughs> That's not possible yet. No, sorry, I'm not even sorry. Oh my god, let's do that. <laughs> and here is my sister Anna. Her entrance is the Oscar entrance. Yeah, today is one of those days where we wish you were very good. With the pie. Yeah. <laughs> it's the alcohol, it's the alcohol. <laughs> okay, I guess we are done. Subscribe.